scripted within an ancient tome which lies beneath centuries of dust in the guarded library of Mechalon is the story of how the rift was formed. Though most cannot recall a time when the rift did not divide the enclave and the outlands, they were at one time unified. At that time there were lands where the very essence of magic was believed to dwell, for they were lush and prosperous. All who did not hold the secrets of the soil, which were protected by the Pact of Jifuro, coveted these lands fiercely. The great demon Vatar was among these envious creatures, for he believed that with the magic of these lands in his grasp, he would surely become invincible. And so, he led his army to attack the dwellers of the land and lay claim to it for himself. The battle raged on and on, until at last the mighty wizard Zael stood alone against Vatar to protect the lands. When all hope seemed lost and Vatar's victory imminent, Zael struck the final fatal blow. With a roar of anger and anguish, the wizard slammed his staff into the ground. The world trembled and then parted beneath Vatar's feet. A scream of outrage erupted from the demon's throat as he fell to his defeat. However, victory did not come without a price. The chasm that grew from this powerful blast of magic was too vast to be traversed, and the people were separated as much as the lands. Those who had come to aid their brothers in fighting against the demon's army returned to their home called Mechalon with stunned minds and heavy hearts. The pact of Jifuro had been broken, and they had become separated from their brothers. The denizens of the Outlands, a dark and selfish people, became known as the Dreg Attar, and the enclave of Magic Land, which had been divided from the rest, formed a peaceful city called Selenheim. In time, all wounds are healed, for in the lengthy span since it was torn asunder, it seems that the magic inherent within the world has begun to knit the land back together. The rift grows smaller and can even be crossed in certain locations. Though it should be a time of celebration and rejoicing, such is not the case. For despite the passage of time, the greedy Dregatar still lust after the lands of magic. Raid after raid has been sent into the Enclave, in hopes of weakening it for the major attack the Dregatar intend to wage as soon as they are able. Crops burned and possessions stolen, Selenheim has been thrown into a state of extreme unrest. Heavy taxes are levied upon the people to help pay for the city's defense. This has led to uprisings within the Enclave, and some of its inhabitants have landed in jail, along with the true enemy. And it is here that our story begins. A few rebellious grains of sand within the ever-turning hourglass of life. So, they imprison their own too, I see. The sound you are hearing is the sound of your death. The rolling thunder of my fellow outlanders. The sound of the Dregatar slaughtering your kind and scaling the walls of this puny fortress. They are coming to set me free. And if they don't get to you first, I will personally rip you apart with...
bring us.
another brave warrior. We should join forces. I could use your help here. The courtyard is crowded with enemies.
You have done us a great service. Helping in staving off these vile invaders despite your imprisonment is bold, to say the least. Isn't this the same one that we had arrested earlier? You expect us to believe that these people are loyal to us when they won't even pay the taxes that they owe? Be gone. Let's turn out my sad entry now. Save me my heart, my star. No matter what save me. It is true that you have committed a crime against us. Yet it seems you are willing to prove your loyalty to Selenheim. Because of this, I will offer you a proposition. If you continue to serve our cause and assist us in this action, you will receive full pardons and be embraced as honored warriors henceforth. There is a merchant named Marcus in the town of Seladia. He is very important to the Enclave, as he is the last merchant willing to transverse the rift and bring us supplies that are badly needed if we are to have any hope of withstanding the more frequent raids of the Dregatar. I have received word that the Dregatar have assaulted his convoys and attempted to assassinate him. He must be protected. We won't survive long without him. Ah, hello there. So you are the help I sent for. Excellent. I'm Marcus, the merchant. Listen, the raiders have plundered my caravan, so I need your help to find my account book. We also need to get through the town gate. You'll have to find a key. Hurry, we don't have much time. I don't want you to make sure it's safe first. I'll wait here.
Ah, excellent. The economy of Selenheim depends on this book. I'd never have lost it unless it was for my sloppy and useless brother Loris. Now, help me to the other side of the village. Look out! They might ambush us.
mercy on me! Let's keep looking for the key. Ah, oh, blast it! The door is locked. Find another way in and I'll wait here for you. Ah, the key. Excellent. Help! <laughs> Stay on me! Can you scout ahead? I'll remain here.
You must find my treasures. I believe the Raiders still have them hidden somewhere inside. The situation is growing more desperate.
the best. This has really saved both me and Selenheim from a great deal of trouble. But there is something of even greater importance you need to do, and time is running short. Now I've heard that the Dregatar are planning a major siege within the month against Selenheim. I've not yet been able to get word of it to the Queen. The, the forces of the Enclave are no match for the Dregatar. They'll, they'll surely be destroyed and enslaved. But there is one small hope. There is a legend of a people who live beyond the Outlands, the ancestors of Mechelon. Now the stories say they were trusted friends of Selenheim before the rift began. I if you could reach them and convince them to lend us aid, we might all be saved. 